Do you have a corrupt Windows install? Well, this install right here is what I call a corrupted install. There is no Windows update. It's missing a lot of core functionality components that make up Windows or comprise it. When you go into settings, you'll notice it's kind of stripped down. You can't even update it. You can't do anything with this system. This can happen when you do like extreme debloats. It can happen when you have a very bad virus infection. You remove the virus and you also remove some system components with it and we can fix it. Now, every other video out there is going to be like run system file checker, SFC scan now. Don't do that because frankly, it doesn't do anything. Best case, I think SFC has told me I've had system corruption, but it couldn't fix it. So instead of wasting hours of your time, I'm going to teach you two commands that you're going to need to know. The first command's a basic online command that usually fixes most systems that aren't really broken. This system is really broken though. <laughs> so we're going to need that second command. Let's go ahead and run the first command. And I'm going to show you what it does and what it can do. But to figure out what we're working with, uh, first, let's just do like a system dm.cpl. You'll notice I'm missing system restore from this tab uh, and, and a few other things as well. So system restore is gone. If we go into our settings menu, we're missing a lot of uh, updates. We're missing our security, which is Windows Defender. You'll notice there's nothing over here in the tab. There's a lot missing. So we need to bring all that back, all those components to its factory state. The very first thing we can do, let's just go minimal here and pull up our PowerShell. I love me some PowerShell. DISM is the tool we use, but there's a lot of ways to use D DISM and, and we're gonna do an online one. This tries to go out and say, hey, Microsoft, do I have anything missing for my system? And just send me that stuff I'm missing. Uh, we're gonna clean up our image and then we're gonna restore the health. So we'll hit enter to this. This should go in go through, restore our health, and we should get our stuff back, right? Well, let's just let this run. And I'm shocked. It didn't work. It said specify module can't be found, error 126. This means that DISM, the actual component that can download and restore it, is broken. And what we need to do now is to restore DISM and any corresponding components directly from Medium. You need to go out to Microsoft and download this through your browser. Now, obviously this one is so broken because I don't even have a browser installed. I can't even install WinGet. It's just completely gone. But luckily I do have a Windows 10 ISO, so you'll need a secondary computer if you fall into this camp where it's completely broken. But download that ISO. You can either mount it, copy it over to this one and mount it. Uh, or if you have like a CD-ROM drive, those types of things, you could put it into File Explorer. So if you go into File Explorer, just get that in here. If you get the ISO, you usually can right click and just hit mount on uh, that specific ISO if you download it directly to the computer. When you're in here, there's a certain file we want. In sources, usually there's an install file and it's this install.wim. Sometimes this is called ESD, that's a highly compressed WIM file. But most times, most modern day Windows installs are WIM like this one. So what we're gonna do is copy D sources, and then we're gonna go back into DISM, but this time we're gonna add a special command and it's called a source command. So we're just gonna go forward slash source colon, and then we're gonna just paste that in with a right click. And we're gonna go backslash install dot WIM, just like this. We'll hit enter. This time it's going to read from that newly downloaded ISO and say, hey, uh, what am I missing out of my system? Go ahead and copy it directly from that source and fix this system up. So we should have Microsoft Edge reinstall. We should have Windows Update. We should have Windows Defender. We should have all kinds of stuff in here. And this time, instead of going online to Microsoft, it's going to go directly to the install.wim file and grab everything that's needed. And uh, we're gonna let this run. This might take a while. So go grab a cup of coffee, whatever it is, and then come back. Usually about 30 minutes should get you there. Now, a third option too, let's say DSM keeps failing on a secondary PC that might have a browser. 
You could also go down to download Windows, download the installation media and just install the latest update. This is another way to basically make things better for you. So with that, I've just downloaded the media creation tool. We're gonna run it and force these updates through. Usually DISM does work. It could be a mismatched ISO that also causes that to fail on me. So with that, we're gonna just let this run. This is gonna take probably a good hour, maybe even two hours, depending on the speed of your computer. So I'm gonna just accept this and move through. So it's the next day. We finished our DISM from the actual ISO. Uh, also, the media creation tool was run as well because we were missing some components. Most of the components that we were missing have come back. We have Microsoft Edge. You can see even like news and interest from like the latest update. You can see Windows Security right there in the corner. We also, if we check System DM from the beginning, we were missing uh, System Restore and Remote. You can see those have returned as well. There are a couple things still missing from this install because of the strip out I did at the very beginning. So those did not get returned. The two things that I'm missing, two very important things, are Windows Update and also Windows Defender. We go to Windows Security, you can see all this is pretty much back, but there is no virus or threat protection. From here, you could use a very bare bones, a virus scanner in lieu of Windows Defender, which I'd actually recommend. And as far as Windows updates go, there's a couple different scenarios here. A cumulative update would be fine. You could upgrade this to Windows 11 if you wanna go that route, or you could even uh, use like NT Lite, which I did a video on. NT Lite has an update system where it will literally go out, find the cumulative patches, and then patch your system. And to finish things off, what I would recommend doing, just so you know you don't have any corruption in Windows, is to finally come that back to PowerShell with admin, uh, and then go ahead and run a check health from here. Uh, this will go through DISM and tell you if you have any corruption. You should see no component store corruption detected, and the operation completed successfully. This means you have a functional version of Windows with most of the components there. Obviously, if you've never included those components to begin with, they're not gonna be available uh, because that was just this really bare bones ISO I stripped down with NT Lite. But remember these commands, the three commands that you can run. Uh, SFC scan now, uh, I'd said was pretty much worthless which it pretty much is, but it will tell you if you do have any corruption, which is good. So it's I still something I recommend running just to see if it pops up, then doing a check health, see if there's any component store corruption. And then finally, if you're still missing a whole bunch of stuff, you can actually download, just download Windows and get a media creation tool right here and just run the latest and greatest. Yes, it will update your system, but typically it will restore a lot of functionality to uh, already cropped Windows system. And that's corruption on Windows. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.